So this will just be a quick response to Chad, uh, whose channel is Archetypal View. You should go check it out if you don't know about it. There's a lot of great content uh, on his channel. Um, what's up, Chad? Thanks for your your question. Um, Chad was asking about the five mass extinction events which have taken place on Earth um, since the inception of life uh, about three and a half to four billion years ago. Um, we are in the midst of what's shaping up to be the, the sixth great mass extinction event. We won't know for, I guess, another million years if, if it if the you know current trends continue um, or not, but if current trends do continue, we this will be the beginning of the sixth great mass extinction event. Uh, this one caused by humans. Um, the last one was caused by uh, an asteroid impact um, that wiped out the dinosaurs and created uh, all of these new um, niches for. Uh, species which during the reign of the dinosaurs couldn't really, you know, they're, they're, the niches were filled by these very large reptilian um, animals and the very small mammalian creatures, mostly rodents that were running around at the time of the dinosaurs, uh, were, were kind of uh, pushed out of those niches by these dominant, the dominant, you know, predators uh, and and scavengers and just, you know, the, the, the population of dinosaurs that existed on the planet. And what Chad was pointing to is the way that out of the chaos and the destruction and the sort of entropic decay uh, of, of mass extinction, what we've seen historically, what paleontologists have, have um, argued is that, based on the evidence that they've discovered, is that um, after each mass extinction, the diversity of life has only increased afterwards. So, you know, prior to this sixth mass extinction, or again, what's what's looking like it's going to be the sixth mass extinction event, um, the Earth had more biodiversity than ever in its history. Uh, so it's, it's kind of, it's as if life is, you know, it operates like a hydra, you know, so you, you, you cut it off uh, at the neck and then um, five heads grow back and you cut those off and, um, you know, 25 heads grow back and there's this sort of exponential increase in the rate of complexification when you, when you try to uh, hem in the, the creative activity of biological evolution. And, you know, I think what Chad is pointing to is this tendency for... Um, life to respond to disaster uh, in a creative way. And this does seem counter to the typical way we think of entropy. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's a fascinating example that he brings up um, and certainly worth contemplating. Um, but, you know, I think that the reason this happens is that, you know, when whatever the dominant species are uh, at any given time, when they are wiped out due to some, you know, whatever the cause may be, be it um, the habitat destruction and climate change brought about by humans or um, habitat destruction and the blocking out of the sun due to an asteroid impact or whatever it is, um, the death of the the previously dominant species uh, or or you know family of species creates new niches for um, those species which had been sort of lying in wait for uh, an opportunity to exploit uh, for new niches to exploit, uh, and that's exactly what we saw with mammals. Had the dinosaurs not been driven to extinction the alternative sort of mode of life um, that mammals had just begun to explore at the time of the dinosaurs uh, was able to flourish, you know, and that alternative mode includes many things, you know, unlike reptiles, most mammals don't lay eggs. Um, they're warm-blooded creatures. They, they have a, 
it, what seems to be a, a richer um, emotional life. They're, they, they seem to be um, more intimately bonded to their young, um, you know, and there's, 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 there's an increase, there's a whole nother layer of, of, um, um, of the brain, the, you know, the mammalian cortex that gets added to the reptilian limbic system. Um, and it's only because extraneous circumstances like the meteorite, uh, or asteroid that hit the planet, um, drove the dinosaurs into extinction that these, these other capacities associated with mammals were able to um, fully develop or at least develop more than they had. I'm not sure if, you know, maybe there are further stages of biological evolution on this planet that will be even more complex than, than the human being. Um, we can't be sure yet. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, maybe I answered Chad's question. Um, maybe I raised more questions, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's explore some of these questions.